Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and I am here in the Portland area with <laughs> Margaret <laughs> and Dana, and <laughs> hi, and they are actually from the Dallas area, which is a little bit south here in Oregon, and we are sitting around here talking about Polymer Clay. She brought a couple of little pieces of hers, and she wanted to ask me about them, and she has some little challenges, and I was going to answer her. So, ask me away. What did you All need? Right. Well, I have trouble with the backs, getting them smooth enough, so I always have to later bake and bond on a, a, a second piece to hide that. And I have trouble sometimes, like you can see here where this went on to this other side. Uh -huh. And this one I haven't finished yet, but I have a lot of rough edges that I have to sand out of it still. So Okay, Doug, can you see that if I hold it? Can you see the um, the edges and stuff on there? He's got a pretty good zoom. <laughs> <laughs> now, what the thing when you're doing layers like this, mm -hmm. um, if you're just going to do a flat layer, one layer only, and, and you are worried about bumps, what you yeah. do is you take your piece and you would turn it upside down when you bake it. Okay. Because then any if there are any bubbles that are on there, they're going to rise up. Okay. Now, a thing I like to do is lay have a like a t uh, ceramic tile okay a piece of paper or cardstock mm -hmm. lay that my piece on top of that put another piece of cardstock on top mm. and lay a tile on so top so that'll force it to flatten yeah. out now you have to uh, you're baking for a whole hour aren't you yeah okay good that you would need for sure to do because the, it takes a little bit more time for the heat to get inside okay. there too so you would never want to do a really short bake but that should help keep the um, bubbles at bay okay. and keep it smoother on the back. You can usually, like this one here, we should be able to take a piece of... Um, we don't have any water right now because the, uh, the water isn't hooked up. Yeah. But we would normally take a pe uh, little bit of soapy water. Mm -hmm. And this is a piece of 400... Okay. Oh no, this is 320. Yeah, I, and I have the micro mesh. And home. you have the micro mesh? Mm -hmm. So you would use one of the micro mesh. Actually, this 320 is probably a better place okay. to start. Um, or the coarsest one. Okay. And just, you can usually get these edges much, much smoother. Mm -hmm. You can do it on, on a hard surface as well. Okay. And it's, yeah, it's starting to come together quite nicely. Okay. You can get the backs a lot smoother too. Oh, yeah. Have you not been yeah, sanding them? I have not thought of that, which I feel really stupid Oh, <laughs> well you can't know everything all yeah. at once. So you have to just, just sand it through okay. and you can get a really nice smooth surface. You will even be able to sand this resin that's on there. Mm, on, yeah, get yeah. that little smooth out of it. That, now, that area on this one, yeah. I don't know, Doug, can you see that? Where the color has smudged a bit from the top layer? That too will sand right back because it's okay. most likely a smudge when you were cutting through, and right? It, and it just carried it down onto that next layer. Yeah, so yeah. did you bake this black layer first then? I'm not sure. Yeah, I must have. And then I added, then I then would have added that on there. Yeah, and, and, then, added. and put the saran wrap in the yeah. cookie cutter. Now, that's fine. You can sand that up. You can even, when you're sanding, you can even take out this little nick that's okay. there. And that will re really make a much more uh, professional right. looking look, which is what you're aiming for. Exactly. And then, um, now I notice on this side it looks really perfect, but this There's side had, yeah, yeah, you can see the scratching, that's mm -hmm. probably from when you're um, slicing okay. the blade. You would be able to get that off. I can probably sand that off. Yes, you can okay. sand that all off. And you would start at a relatively high grit so that you could get it back, because you're not going to lose, this, this is a pretty thick layer you've yeah. got there. So if it was a super thin layer, you'd have to be quite gentle with that. When you use your micro mesh, mm -hmm. do you use every single step, or do you skip a couple of them and then? Well, I because usually you use every single step, okay. but it takes. That's what I've been doing, and it's just like I wonder if I can skip some of these. You could. I sometimes in front of a movie. Yeah, I sometimes will start a little further in, okay. like it won't start as coarse because it's pretty smooth to begin with. Yeah. In this case, with where the scratches mm -hmm. may be coming down, well, you can't hardly even see them, but because they might have happened into the mica shift, they might have made their own mica shift. Okay. Um, you might have to sand a little deeper okay. on that one. Um, and same with this little spot in here. What you can do, though, is start a little lower, yeah, a little um, or higher up. Start 
at the you don't have to start at the bottom largest grit yeah. and if you think it's going really well and you feel like skipping just sort of do a quick one of that one <laughs> okay <laughs> and then do you can do a little quicker in those stages now with this one this is sure turned out pretty yeah, I love those art sheets yeah she did a beautiful job of an art sheet here it's got some clocks and things in there flies clocks and butterflies so this is, has a bit of a steampunk mm -hmm. look same with the back she stamped into it now you said you had a chat oh you want to see that can you see it that way Hand behind it. oh focus yeah, sometimes the camera, that's why you see my hand in the video that's sometimes you're, coming you need up. something to focus on. Yeah, because oh, it, cool. it wants to jump to the behind the scenes. So now you learned something about yes. that. So you got that? Learning all sorts of things. Mm hmm. Now you said you had a challenge trying to add those two together because you well, would. Well, I just, I, I can't stamp. When I, when I did the art sheet uh -huh. on the layer, then I said the back was wonky again. So then when I did the layer, and I, maybe I did it too thin, you can just see it under there. So that's why I decided to do a separate layer and then do the baking bond and, and glue them together and, and bake them another time. Now the the art sheet is a really, really smooth sheet, so you mm -hmm. could add that to the back side before you stamp. Like you okay. could add it to your gold clay. Okay. And then um, I, you know, roll it through the pasta machine at a, a thick setting, mm -hmm. right? And then you could stamp it okay. and cut it out. And you would probably have quite a nice clean okay. edge here. That would save you a lot of sand. Uh, yeah, and the baking steps. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's There's so many steps because I, I can't get it clean back. Yeah, <laughs> um, but you can usually, if you... Um, you can usually get these edges really nice and clean okay. um, just with the sandpaper okay. and that'll do a really good job. You've d she's put um, the UV resin on the top layer. That, I take it UV resin, right? Yeah. 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 Isn't that nice? It stuff's great. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> <I> good. <do. laughs> it just turns everything into... I know. Um, I just, we just joked. I was like, put resin on it. What's that? I don't know. It looks nice, but let's put resin on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If there's a problem, then you, you know, it's put so some pretty, resin on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Now, one of the things we want to talk to Dana about, you have been making some dragons or something, right? The first one kind of got burnt, so I made a second one, which took a while to get mostly the scale, like, things on. Oh, scales. did you put scales on his back and things? Yeah, and he has his toenails. Yeah. D D claws. Claws. Yeah. And you said there was something about the claws that was hard to do? Just putting them on because it just it kept on falling off. Oh, they get falling off. You could use get some of your mom's bacon bond I and then push it on hard. And yeah, if you push it on, sometimes and then. The, but if they're if they're dirty at all, they'll um, maybe fall off later after they're baked. Mm -hmm. So if you bore a little bit of bacon bond, that would probably help make it stick a little easier. But that sounds good. What color was he? Um, he was like the sparkly blue, sculpted three. Oh, paint, purple, sparkly blue. blue. Yeah. Sounds pretty. How, how, how big is he? He's probably at least that big. Oh, but, yeah. And what are you going to do with them? Probably just not even make it a bead because I not because the first one I did not like where the hole came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you tried to make them a bead before and then you put the hole in the well, wrong spot. I had two of them. First one just got burnt and I put the hole in the wrong spot. Oh, oh that can happen. Oh, yeah. And then on animals, it can be a little tricky where yeah. you put the hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that sounds really good. Are you going to try to make some more? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. One of the other ones I did, which is from my video game, my dog decided to eat <laughs> oh we had a we were just talking to another member and their dog had eaten the face off of her doll <laughs> twice and she had burnt the ear so she's been through some very Sounds similar very similar yeah, yeah, <laughs> some <problems. laughs> <Some> trouble. <laughs> if you just keep trying though it'll end up working yeah sounds good now you also had a question about the um the well, crackle these technique. are one of mine this is what we're talking about the um crackled paint technique and you had a problem with that. It, it wouldn't crackle. The, the the paint, the acrylic paint on the top layer just stretched and stretched and stretched, and it would never crackle for me. And mm. kind of peeled off. So did you use like the kind of uh, paint in a tube, or was I it? I used the craft paint. Oh, like the so like you the just get at Michael's. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. get at Michael's or Joanne's or something. Well, yeah. actually, if it was a decent quality one, which it might have been, because you do other stuff too, mm -hmm. right? 
the the better qu the quality the paint is, the worse it will crackle, <laughs> because okay. it's got it's got more acrylic um, fibers and everything in it, mm -hmm. and and it's more plasticky, right? So what will end up happening is it'll just keep stretching. Okay. I mean, eventually it'd probably break, but it would it's break in kind of large a nice spots. Nice piece of jewelry isn't gonna. So you yeah. can try a few things. First of all, you can go to a. a crappier paint. Mm -hmm. um, I used, I can't remember, I used some pearl, Pearlex in some um, glaze and stuff. Check the video again, okay. which, what I did there. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which <laughs> ones I used. Um, I think Lumiere and those kinds of work, that's a nice quality one, but right. it's a thinner paint. Okay. Um, but one thing you could try is try watering down your okay. paint so that the binders aren't strong in there okay. anymore and you know if you've ever painted over something and you've watered it down too many times it just sort of breaks down yeah it doesn't hold okay. together so that should help. okay great all right yeah do you think you got it i think so well this we'll has really we'll been super fun <laughs> we're actually in a parking lot behind a uh a best buy because we had to end up meeting her on the way through so it's been really fun yeah. and uh and you have a very nice rv <laughs> thank you very much yeah, like and we we're in front of the trailer and we we're about ready to say goodbye did you have fun you yes guys? i yes. did yes. You i did. learned a lot mm -hmm. thank you so much for having us out <laughs> you're welcome and how about you guys did you have fun yes why of course <laughs> <laughs> All right, we better say goodbye. All right, see you later, guys. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs>